Investment scams. There are a lot out there. So there are various uh, data checks which you can make. You must check whether the product is regulated or not, whether the product is registered or not. So regulated, when I say there are two types, two levels of regulators in India today, the major ones. So the first one is investment scams. There are a lot out there. So how one can be safe from it? How can one know that the person is uh, investing in a right way and not some kind of scam that they're getting into? Like, you know, for example, uh, like wealth management, what you do, right? Um, not that many people know that you do. Many people think wealth management, you take money and you keep money in your account. But for people who don't know, the wealth manager actually is a person who takes your money and helps you increase it more. And only charges a very small percentage of your profits, if I'm not wrong, right? Uh, so how does that work and how can you be careful of the investment scams that you're getting into? Like cryptocurrency was one of like the very scary part. Bitcoin to chad pada. Bitcoin ke peeche, bhoat sare coins aage hai. Jo, coins aay aur gaye. So that, oh yeah, you know, that's one of those things. And recently there was a website created, oh, you know, you invest 10,000 rupees and, you know, generate 15%, 20% and all. So how does a one make sure that they're getting into the right uh, investment and not a scam? So uh, there are various uh, data checks which you can make. Okay. So the first one is that you must check whether the product is regulated or not. Okay. Whether the product is registered or not. So regulated, when I say there are two types, two levels of regulators in India today, the major ones, uh, actually three. So the first one is who regulates the banks, that is RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Right. So Reserve Bank of India is regulating banks and uh, whatever FDs, term deposits, everything comes under RBI's supervision. Right. The next one is SEBI, which we call a Security Exchange Board of India. Okay. So they are actually responsible to ensure the safety of investors in terms of investments into securities, securities like mutual fund stocks and uh, whatever debentures and the aspects. So they have an eye, they keep an eye, that they, keep, they supervise these investments. And the third regulator is IRD, that is Insurance Regulatory Development Authority okay. of India. That takes care of the insurance part. Okay. They supervise the insurance products. So any product which where you are investing must be regulated by either of these. If it is not regulated by either of these, then uh, there is a situation that you may not get help in game if, if it turns out to be a scam. Right. So you must ensure that your investments are moved in this uh, in the instruments which are supervised by either of these regu uh, regulators for sure. In is India. there a way to check that? Like how? Yeah, what is there a website that I can have? Yes, you can go through the websites of these uh, regulators by themselves. Sebi.org.in. Okay. or something like that so you can just visit their website and you can check the products available in the okay you will definitely get an idea about it for sure okay how it works and yes. all that okay. or you can go through the brochure of that particular product in which you are planning to invest you can just check wow whether it is registered or not whether it is regulated or not you will have the registration number mentioned over there, over there. whether it is registered with rbi or rbi which registration number mentioned over yeah, you are investing in a CBA regulated product and CBA will mention okay. Doga. So, so it's all exactly. there. You have to just be very vigilant Definitely. while you are... You have to be vigilant. Just uh -huh. ensure that it is registered with some of the other regulatory Absolutely. Be and, careful. Yeah. And these uh, regulators also are, at times they do awareness programs. Okay. They also create awareness through their websites, through their uh, channels social media channels also okay, okay. that these are scams you must not invest in this so if you follow them definitely you won't enter into some trap like this trap like that yeah or they can follow a, a channel like kabir wani where you know we have financial advisors coming up on the show and giving this wonderful <laughs> advice that would really yeah, help them course. right of course great great